What's going on you guys? This is Eric back at you with another DIY video and this one I have a pretty easy one for you guys. This is something that has been bothering me in my 2000 Infinity G20 since I got it and, and that is the slow retracting seat belt right here. So I'm going to show you guys how it looks when it's uh, retracting and then you guys are going to see why I'm going to fix this. So as you guys can see it's not even retracting. This is annoying when you're getting out of your car. Sometimes you just throw your seatbelt out of the way. Um, and this gets stuck between the door and um, the outside. These are some basic tools you're going to need. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver, a ratchet, and some sockets. What we're going to do is move our seat forward as much as we can. And we're going to do this so that um, it gives us a lot of um, room and access to the seat belt itself. Their seat all the way forward. Um, you can get a better glimpse of what I'm talking about. You can see on my seatbelt right here, um, it's twisted right up there. And that's also causing it to not retract as fast. So in order to correct that, usually you have to unbolt the bolt right here on the bottom that you see right there. And orientate the seatbelt in its um, position. Sometimes that can work, but for the most part, you probably have to take off the cover for the seat belt and um and fix it that way so let's start with the obvious right here um go ahead and remove this cover right here and this is um pretty much the same on most cars this cover is just held down by some clips all you need to do is just get your hand between the cover and the back of the cover of the seat belt and just pry forward just like that um, and these are just held in by some clips. And that gives us better access to, um, with what we're dealing with here. So that's the whole SIBO mechanism right here. And as you can tell, mine is twisted. So somebody must have either put this on backwards or they must have been doing something with the SIBO and they didn't put it in the correct orientation. And um, that's also what could be causing it to not retract as fast. So now what we're doing is removing this bolt right here so that we can have the seat belt free from them right here from the mount. So go ahead and remove this. And then as you guys can see this is um, has some washers and some crush, crush washers on here. So just take it off in the order that you see. So now that we have the seatbelt unmounted from the bottom, um, we can start fixing what is messed up right here as far as the direction of the seatbelt. You can tell that it's not it's not going straight and it should be. What you guys are pretty much doing when the, the seatbelt is tangled and it's not in its right orientation is, for example, let's say this is twisted like this. And when it goes up, it, it, if it orientates itself the right way, what you're going to want to do is fold your seat belt like this before it reaches the top right here. And what you're doing is pretty much folding it like that in the correct orientation and pulling really hard up here. And this should kind of squish itself on each other, on top of each other, and it should fit through the hole right there. So as you can see, now it's facing the same way. But as you guys can tell, I'm still having some issue right here with the retracting. So the next thing is to clean the seatbelt. I don't know how good the camera can pick it up, but the seatbelt is pretty dirty. And this is pretty much your sweat and skin. That skin that is rubbing off on here, that's causing it, you know, to, to be rough up here. So you see all this dirt right here. So that's what we're going to try to clean out. Since our seatbelt is still retracting a little bit slow, I'm going to leave it overnight in some water with soap. Um, and this is just going to break down all the dirt that has accumulated on the seatbelt right here. And hopefully this should fix um, the way that it retracts so slow. Go ahead and put your seatbelt in there. And what you want to do is get a clip to clip off right here so that the seatbelt doesn't retract on you. What I use to stop it from retracting is this little guy right here um, for like paper, like a paper holder. 
so I just wedged it right here and that helped it not retract. So it's been about eight hours that the seatbelt has been um, in the water right here and you can kind of tell that it's really dirty in here. It was clear water now it's just like kind of cloudy. So that's all that um, dirt that's coming off of the seatbelt. So after this step what we're going to do is dry off the seatbelt. Okay so I'm drying off the seatbelt with a white towel. And as I'm wiping it down, you can see all this dirt that's coming off of the seatbelt. And that's all that sweat and dirt that comes off your neck, your body. And it just gets attached to the seatbelt and that makes it harder to retract. You don't want to damage the seatbelt mechanism, so go ahead and just dry everything down really good. And you're not going to be able to get all the dirt off, but as long as you get some of it, it should be fine. So we're going to go ahead and mount this seat belt back on here. So if you guys remember the orientation or the way the bolt's supposed to be going in there. So this goes first over there like that. And then just get everything in reverse order. Just like that, and then just go ahead and get your bolt, and then just put it back in the hole. After we tighten down the seatbelt right here, we're going to go ahead and install our cover for the seatbelt right here. And my car, since I'm converting the inside of it to a black interior, I have a black cover right here for it. So that's what I'm going to be installing. Um, I'll show you guys a trick how to install these because they're kind of tricky if you don't know um, how to put these on. So to install this black cover uh, for the seatbelt, what you need to do is go ahead and um, sneak it behind the seatbelt right here. So just do that. Line it up. And um, you're going to go ahead and put the, the corner right here, the rear corner first, since that one has a groove. So go ahead and get the groove. In there and you should hear it click a little bit like that and then that's how you know it's seated correctly and then we're gonna go to the front this is flexible plastics so don't be afraid to break it and we're gonna go ahead and put that underneath the black guard right here for the door okay, so now that you have it lined up correctly make sure that um, your weather strip is not being squished like that you see how this is kind of like getting pinched by the cover right here so just go ahead and get your finger or get like a flathead and just go around and make sure that the weather strip is not pinched anywhere and then just go ahead and put your black cover over like that and then pick up the weather strip so that it's over it once you have your cover in there just make sure to give it some taps here and there um, to get the clips nice and seated in its location once you put your seatbelt back together um, Go ahead and test out to see if it worked for you. Um, for me, let's go ahead and see if it worked. We're going to go ahead and release the seatbelt. And you can see that that's much better than before. Remember before it wouldn't even go up. Now it's working like almost like new. So that's pretty good for me. So if you guys liked what you guys saw in this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, stay tuned for more videos like this. I'm going to be swapping the interior of my car to a black and tan interior because as you guys can see it's pretty messed up. So I'm going to be swapping that out um, and I'll post a video on that probably next week. Please like, comment and subscribe for more.